Advanced Accounting Learning Objective 1-3. Make calculations and prepare journal entries for the creation of a business entity. So we're going to go walk through an example now. The transferring company is going to create a subsidiary that it owns and controls. And it's going to create this by transferring assets and liabilities to the subsidiary. And it owns the subsidiary. Everything's going to transfer at book value because nothing has really happened here what's in essence happening is that the parent controls the subsidiary completely so they're really just like moving money from one pocket to the other and therefore everything is going to transfer at book value there is one exception to this transferring an asset to a subsidiary triggers impairment tests so if you're transferring because the value of an asset has dropped then you need to test that asset for impairment and if there's an impairment loss, record the impairment loss and record it at the new fair market and the new fair value. So everything here is going to happen at, at book value. Let's go through the example. And this is an example of how things are going to work in this class. We have here Padre and Sonny. And you have a handout on, that's been posted to Blackboard that has both an Excel file and a PDF file and if you want you can print it out like I've printed out here and um, the Excel file and PDF has both fill-ins that you could write in and the answers so all you need to do is you can follow you could just follow this on video and watch me um, or you can download the Excel file to your computer and do it as you're watching the video or you can print this out. This is what I think is most successful for most students is to print this out and fill it in as I'm going through the example to see how you would do it. And the examples that I do here are exactly the same as what's in the book. I give you the textbook page and people, the students never complain that I'm teaching out of the book because I find that what happens is that students get confused when there's differences between what the professor says and what's in the book. You have a very, very good book here. There's like 10 or 15 advanced books to choose from. I think this is the best one. And in essence, if you don't understand what I'm saying, you can go to page nine and you could read it for yourself. And it's all explained in the textbook in a lot more detail. And you could look at it and work through it until you feel like you understand it much better. Um, that said, there's very little in these videos that you can't get from reading the book. Uh, but so my, my, my experience is most students, these book chapters are pretty hard to swallow and most students get the most by watching the videos and doing the examples and then they can refer back to the book for, for help. But I, I do my best and sometimes in fact I have to teach things in a different way than I would prefer to teach them. But what this assures is that everything that I teach is almost 100% consistent with the textbook and you can go back and forth between the book and the videos and also with the connect assignments and there should be it should be very very rare that you would be confused because I explain something or I use different words differently than what's in the textbook. I, I really try very hard to be consistent. The feedback I've gotten from students is that that's what they want. Um, I run the risk of course is that you can complain that I'm teaching out of the book but I find that this technique that I use is simple and it's been successful for, with students for many many years that I've been teaching this class. So that's kind of the format that we're going to use and I'm going to use that format consistently from the very first chapter until the very last one and um, students seem to, it seems to work very well for students. Okay, <clears throat> so Padre creates a subsidiary called Sunny and then transfers assets over to Sunny and um, it's going to, in exchange for this, it's going to own the stock of Sunny because it created it, 100,000 shares with $2 per value. So it has inventory on the books for 50,000, lands of 75,000, building 100,000, and equipment of $250,000. And the building, uh, here's the book values, 70, 50, 75. The building must have accumulated depreciation. It looks like there's accumulated depreciation here. Um, the building having accumulated depreciation at 20,000 and the equipment having accumulated depreciation of $90,000. So to record the transfer from Padre's perspective, Padre is just going to take all of this off the books. I'm going to skip three rows. You'll see why in a moment. 
and I'm going to give up. I'm going to take the cash off our books inventory. I'm saying R because I'm referring to the parent. I always refer to the parent as us and I refer to the subsidiary as them and it's just for simplicity's sake. And I've got all of these different assets that are coming off my books. The cash is going to come off at its, its book value of 70000 Inventory of 50000 Land 75000 Book is going to come off at cost because I'm going to record the accumulated depreciation separately. And equipment is also going to come off at cost. Then I have the accumulated depreciation on the building. That is 20000 and I have accumulated depreciation on the equipment, and that is 90,000. And the difference between all these is going to be my investment in Sunny Company um, Common Stock. So that would be. four hundred thirty five thousand dollars so that's what Padre records now let's look at Sunny what is Sunny going to record Sunny is the new company it's a new entity and it also needs to keep books and it's receiving all of these things again it's going to receive them all at book value so you have cash inventory land building and equipment it's even going to continue with the accumulated depreciation because this transaction is really not construed to have any substance. It's all controlled by the same company and therefore it's, you're just moving assets around between different pockets and nothing is really happening. So everything needs to stay the way it is. You have accumulated depreciation on the building that was valued at $20,000. You have accumulated depreciation on the equipment that was valued at $90,000. And last but not least, you're creating an entity with common stock. So you're gonna have common stock at $2 par. That would be um, 100,000 shares times $2 a share. And the difference between all of this would be additional paid in capital. Two hundred thirty-five thousand dollars, and that would be the, the journal entry on Sonny's books.